Agamazing! This is Sir Bass of Sir Bass TV. In this video, we are going to learn the biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag Agamazing. Let's go! An ecosystem is a community of living things interacting with its non-living environment. The branch of science that deals with the study of organisms and how they interact with the environment around them is called ecology. Organisms have basic needs such as food and shelter. However, food and shelter is not enough to support life. Living organisms need other things such as water and air to survive. Organisms are affected by the different components of an ecosystem. An ecosystem has two components, the biotic components and abiotic components. The word bio in the word biotic comes from the Greek word bios, which means life. Therefore, it literally refers to living organism. Biotic components of an ecosystem includes all living organisms found in an ecosystem. Biotic components include producer or the plants, consumers such as animals, and decomposers such as bacteria. We are going to discuss in detail the role of producers, consumers, and decomposers in our next video. Let us now talk about the abiotic components of an ecosystem. The word a in the word abiotic means without, and the word bio means life. Therefore, abiotic means without life. The abiotic components are the non-living components or the physical and chemical aspect of an ecosystem. Examples of abiotic components include air, water, soil, temperature, and sunlight. These abiotic components have important roles in the survival of living organisms in an ecosystem. Take a look at this picture. What are the different biotic components that can you identify? Correct! The biotic components in this ecosystem are the following. Trees, flowers, frog, fish, bird, cow, goat, horse, turtle, bird, duck, and butterfly. How about the abiotic components? You are right! The abiotic components are the following. The sunlight, clouds, water, mountains, rocks, soil, air, and temperature. The biotic and abiotic components of an ecosystem work hand in hand and interact with each other to maintain balance in our environment. Without the abiotic components, living things cannot survive. Organisms both depend on the biotic and abiotic factors in their environment. The light coming from the sun is important to plants for them to make their own food through the process called photosynthesis. The sun plays an important role in the production of oxygen. Air contains oxygen that is produced by plants and trees which allows animals to breathe. Humans, plants, and animals will not be able to survive without air. The sun also plays an important role in the regulation of temperature. Temperature is important for the proper growth of plants as well as animals. All plants and animals survive between a minimum or maximum amount of temperature. Will a carabao survive in a polar region? If your answer is no, then you are right. It will not survive because the polar region lacks the abiotic factors that are needed by the carabao to survive like the temperature in a tropical area. Animals such as cow, rabbit, goat, and the like eat plants to gain energy. We, human, also eat plants and animals to obtain energy. 
plants need nutrients and other minerals from the soil for them to grow. And that is the end of our discussion about the biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem. The interaction of the biotic and abiotic components in an ecosystem is very important in the sustenance of life in our planet. In our next video, we are going to discuss the different ecological relationships and the difference between producers, consumers, and decomposers.